Today marks 31 years of the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990, or ADA. The Civil Rights Bill was signed into law by President George H.W. Bush. It bans discrimination based on disability. Chase Bearden, Deputy Director at Coalition of Texans with Disabilities, joins us this morning to talk about the progress that's been made and how far we have left to go. Good morning, Chase. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, thank you. So talk a little bit about the progress that's been made since the act was signed. Yeah, you know, it's come a long ways. And for me, I was injured about four years after the ADA was passed, but it's the basic civil rights for the disability community. And it came with making sure there was ramps into businesses and ensuring non-discrimination when you're going for employment or trying to go to school. Uh, it was that basic groundwork needed to give everyone kind of a, a fair playing field uh, to live their lives and to, and to access um, the community around them. Mm -hmm. Chase, when we're talking about, you know, how far we have left to go, what specifically here in Texas have been top priorities during the last legislative session? I think top priorities during the session for many of the disability uh, community has been, it's always working with appropriations and making sure there's funding and programs needed. Um, also, anything around access. I think this session, a lot of the work was done um, on voting, making sure people have equal access, not only in the polling centers, but also with their mail and ballots at home. Uh, many don't realize that we still aren't following the ADA completely here in this state and we send out mail-in ballots that are um, unable to be used by someone who's visually impaired uh, that might be able to use their own technology to read the ballot instead of having to have someone else fill them out for them. Um, so voting has been a big issue and we're still working with legislators on both sides of the aisle trying to um, see where we can help improve what voting bills might be out there and uh, actually, you know, really get a jump up on accessibility before the, the next uh, legislative session. Mm -hmm. Chase, in addition to voting, what other areas um, do you foresee really need to be a focus going forward? I think right now, especially with special ed and students, since they've been out of school, uh, for a little over a year is making sure that those supports for students coming back and their families to make sure we can get them caught back up. Um, I think also just the, the endless work on transportation and improving that situation, but also housing and apartments, uh, making sure there's affordable places to live and also accessible places to live. Yeah, absolutely. And, and of course, you know, we know the work continues from here. If someone's interested in, in following the organization, where can they go for more information? Yeah, you can either just Google Coalition of Texans with Disabilities. We're a statewide uh, organization, or you can go to www.txdisabilities.org. Yeah, so important that uh, everyone listens. Thank you so much, Chase, for joining us this morning. Thank you for your time.